Alright, so the um, it was a great millstone. We got the uh, the brothers from Chicago visiting us. We're gonna give all praise to Zion Glory too. Yahweh Bashem, Yo Shot by Shimra Krakadash. Yo, it's a great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel with sincerity, always sincerity. So here it is, another week out in the highways ahead. Mr. Wadi Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shot, for continually uh, put the spirit upon us to come out and prophesy the downfall of this present evil world. Man. That's right. You know? So hey man, we hey hey hey, let's uh, get Proverbs one and twenty. Start with the old. Hey, hey, no, the old start with gotcha. one. It says to yeah. give knowledge to the sister. All right. This is Proverbs. This is Proverbs one and uh, you have to try to. Right. This is Proverbs one and one. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding. Right, and that's the whole, that's the uh, purpose of this ministry, man. Matter of fact, in Ephesians, the fourth chapter 12, you know, it says that what man keeps out the wrong these things to what man give a, a understanding unto the simple, right? So that's the purpose of the ministry, man, is to gather the elect, right, the Holy Spirit, and to what, man? So that they may uh, stand upon their faith in Yahweh Shah, right? So that they will be swayed with all the uh, doctrines of God here, man, right? Go ahead. Yep. Sorry, one. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1. Therefore, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you, that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called, uh, with all holiness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Right, and that's a continuing examination, man. It says that we may walk worthy of the vocation wherewith we are called. So walk worthy of our calling, man. We have been called out of darkness into the Lord's marvelous light. So what matter of thing ought we to be doing that? Right? Go ahead. Uh, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Key thing right there, the unity of the spirit, man. The word unity means to turn to one. So becoming one as our Lord Yahweh Shah prayed in John the 17th chapter, man. You know, he said that they may be one in us as, 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 as I am one in thee, Father. Roughly paraphrasing, right? Go ahead. There is one body and one spirit. And it's talking about what? Being made in one mind, man. That's why this thing speaks about how the two walk together, except they be agreed. So we have to agree in the doctrine, man, as it's written in 1 Corinthians, the first chapter, the 10th verse. Matter of fact, a brother grabbed that real quick, you know? Because we're coming in, well, we're in the times, and it's only going to get even worse and worse. Where what, man? Where it's going to be hard to access the truth, man. You see? The word. It's going to be hard to access the truth, man. And then it's going to be out here, it's going to be nothing but what? Lies. And, and, and false doctrine out here, man. So that's why it's important to get the truth now and, 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 and uh, uh, study to show yourself approved, man. Right? Go ahead and get that crazy. Let's 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 go ahead and get that you all speak the same thing. See? So he said that we all speak the same thing, man. Right? Go ahead. That you all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. That's it, man. So that means we all should be teaching the same thing. It says that there be no, that there be no divisions amongst us. No schisms in the body. No, man. Perfect, man. Step on, step on. No schisms in the body. And the word schism goes into the grit, man. See what the Lord is doing right now, man, according to Amos the ninth chapter, he's he's building up those rents, man. He said, I'll re I will reveal the tabernacles of David that it's fallen. And so up the breaches thereof. So breach is a hole, it's a rent. So what we do it through the Spirit, what the Holy Spirit is on us and working through us to do is what, man? To build uh, 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 that wall up, man, that defense. Is to put those breaches back together, man. That's why the Lord had an off with the false prophets in Ezekiel the 13th chapter because they didn't stand in the gaps, man. Each one of us has a live and stone, right? We're supposed to uh, 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 put ourselves there in that wall. We're part of that defense, man. Feeling free. That's right, that's right. You know, there's a scripture in uh, Jeremiah, I believe it's the first chapter, where the Lord said that uh, thou art a defense city, man. He spoke about how we're a brazen wall against these people, man. You brother got it. This is Jeremiah chapter 1 and 18. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city and an iron pillar, and placing walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. Right. And, 
So what is that saying? That's saying what? Each one of us have a certain measure of faith that was given us, right? So we all should what? Use the um, uh, the ability that's given us, like the Lord gave them. That's right. That's right. I was just going to say that. Go ahead, huh? No, hey, yeah, because, uh, you know, going into the parable of uh, uh, the, uh, the Lord that gave out the talents to his thyself and unto the doctrine, right? Continue in them, because thou can save thyself and them that hear thee, man. Roughly yeah. paraphrasing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 That's the spirit. Ah. He said the same to save you. Who are you telling? Niggas Who you talk shit about us. We out here pre preaching the doctrine of salvation, man. And, and it's the same doctrine that Yahweh was preaching. The same uh, uh, doctrine that his disciples was preaching. His apostles was preaching. In the book of Acts, the 16th chapter, the, the woman, she had the spirit of divination on her. She was following Paul and I believe, believe Silas was with him in the end. She said, these are the men that show us the way of salvation, man. So you're looking at those men today, starting with the apostles and the elders. We're showing you the way of salvation. These other groups ain't showing you the way of salvation. They telling you you're Israelite. They telling you where your friend is. That's cool and all, but they're not, they're not uh, uh, going, but leading you to that straight gate, man. In you there be that finding. You got it. No, in the Timothy, like you said, it said these things that are what? Profitable for salvation. Exactly. Because Timothy yep. was, he was bred into the law, so he knew. But he said, these things are profitable to salvation. Exactly. That's it. That's Let me it. read something for you, Aki. You, you got it. You got it. This is in Matthew 11, and I'll start at verse 4, but the point is in verse 5. Yahweh I answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which you do hear and see. The blind receive the sight, right. the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the de and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel. 
preached unto them. And the poor have, have the gospel preached unto them. When you go into the into the gospel, right, the, the, really the whole book is the gospel in all actuality. But when Yahweh Shai was teaching and preaching about the kingdom, he was teaching that to Israelites. That's what the gospel was for. The gospel is not for everybody. The Lord said he showed his word and his statutes and his judgments unto Jacob. He has not dealt so with any other nation. Praise Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So that's the poor that he's speaking of. He has chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith. And right now, through the spirit of the Lord, we are healing the blind. All right, we are uh, 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 healing the uh, uh, the maimed and the uh, and the halted and the dumb, man, through the spirit of the Lord, man. Hey, but guess what? Actually, no, guess what our people said. We don't know no king but Caesar, and that's why Caesar is going to kill you, yeah. Yeah. man. That's why judgment has to come to y'all, man. Because y'all said we don't know no king but Caesar. Right. So that's why y'all going to line up, get this this shit, and, jab. and die, yeah. Yeah. because y'all chose Caesar to be your king. Remember, uh, I was talking to the other brother. He said about. That, that uh, the, the custom that they had in Thanksgiving, you know, pardon, pardoning the turkey, yeah. that was Roman Greek custom that they had. Remember, they they, they said, who should we, who should we let go? And then people said, let that, let that. Right. They, they said, let, them, let their sins be upon us. And, our church. and that's why you need to go back three years, man. Because y'all, because y'all chose the murderer. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Hey, because they said, what? They said, we don't know King but Caesar, but what else did they say? They said, give us Barabbas, and that's what Barabbas means. That's, that's what you're going to get. You're yeah. going to get what you asked for. You want Barabbas, you're going to get Barabbas. The Lord said, he sent his messengers rising up beat times, having compassion upon his people. But they misused his prophets. They misused his messengers until the wrath of the Lord came upon them, and he will send the king of Chaldees against them. All right, and he will slay their young men and their young women. That's in the book of Second Chronicles, I believe it's uh, verse 30, uh, chapter 36, man. So the Lord's not playing no games. We're not going to be out here teaching this word forever, man. We coming to the end of this Israelite ministry. They demonize us on the news. They calling us, uh, 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 they're, they're categorizing us, man, as a, 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 a hate group. All right, putting all these different labels on us. They're going to try to move on this ministry, man. The scriptures say, many shall follow after their pernicious ways by reason of whom. You know, you got that? This is uh, St. John chapter 19 and verse 13. When Pilate therefore heard that say, he brought Yahweh forth and sat down in the judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Kabbalah. And it was the preparation of the Passover, and about the sixth hour, and he said unto the Jews, Behold, your king. But they cried out, Away with it. Right, hey, remember what they, they, they mockingly they put a crown on the Lord's head of thorns and said, yeah. This is the king of the Jews. It was written in Latin and Hebrew. Hebrew. Yeah. Wait, 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 what a scholar need to point out the fact that it was in Hebrew. Right. Because they like Sirach says, the things translated they lose their strength, they lose their force. She there's certain shit in Spanish that once you translate in English, don't have that same force. Yeah. Verse 15, but they cried out, away with him, away with him, crucify him. That was Israelites that said that shit for the record. Right. Those weren't Edomites, those were Israelites that said that. Keep on. And what did Yahweh Shai say in Luke 19? He said, those my enemies that don't want me to rule over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. He wasn't talking about these other nations at that point, if we read it in the context. It says that his own citizens hated him. So it's talking about his own people, his own countrymen, his own nation. Doesn't want him to rule over him. Here's the, here's the precept to back that up. So he said, what? All you niggas are going to die. You don't want me to rule over you? Then uh, you're, we're, it's a takeover, man. All right? I got T.O. people loaded up. We didn't come to take part. Right. We came, we came to, take to take over, man. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't coming to play no games, man. He said, the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom. All right? He said, dust of violence shall Babylon be thrown down. The book of uh, Revelation it says he had on his head many crowns. So he's not coming to ask for, for the world back. He's not coming to ask for his elect back, man. He's coming to take everything that's his, man. All right? Yep. Uh, it, it says, but they cried out, away with them, crucify. Pilate said unto them, shall I crucify your king? And the chief priest answered, we have no king but Caesar. And that's why Caesar is going to kill y'all, man. That's why Caesar is going to roll up on y'all. Because y'all chose Geppetto Biden to take dominion over y'all. All right? Geppetto Biden, man. That's why he's separating families to this day. Uh, everything that he did about the undoing of the prior policies was tentative, not definitive. All right, if y'all don't learn English, learn tentative and definitive. They were all tentative and changes, but they're not definitive because these are two, 
two wings of the same bird, man. Esau's doctrine is going to keep going. That's why in Maccabees it said, what they said, they all gave the power to one man because it's a Senate and the House of Representatives that co-signs all this bullshit, man. The same Democrats who voted for are the same punks, man. Two horns on the same beast. Same two eagles of the same bird. This is, is that it on that app? This is Lamentation. It's Lamentation 4 and 17. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. So you're putting all your trust into this devil. He can't save you, man. He's looking actually to destroy you. It says that his uh, words were smooth as uh, butter, but in his heart was uh, uh, was war, man. So all, all this shit, he talking about giving you the jab first, and he talking about helping you out with this, helping with us, all leading to your destruction, man. Esau was never for your turn, he was never for your part, man. The, 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 the two, it said that two nations are in their womb and they shall be separated from thy vows. They're two different manner of people. The two babies, the two spirits are struggling in the womb. You were never supposed to be integrated with the so-called white man. That's why Martin Luther King was a damn coon. You niggas get Martin Luther King tatted on you. He was a faggot, all right? And he didn't do shit but lead you into a burning building as he confessed himself before he died, man. He said, he said, we have sold our people to the, the Democratic Party. Right. Because the GOP before was a, they were, uh, they were conservatives. They were Bible thumpers. Right. And then they went to, to this motherfucking coon to be sold to the Democratic Party, huh? That's, that's real shit. Our people were about having our, what, what, what Judah you think is going to want for his woman to be out in the street starting? Nobody. Our houses had structure before. Right, exactly. When y'all had this thing involved, y'all made, y'all made the state part of your marriage, so therefore the police comes and separates you from your bitch if you harm her. And because she's a good slave. Right. Remember that. And the thing is, now you got Israelite groups saying you got to go to uh, uh, Esau Who? to get that marriage certificate. Who's IUIC, that? you got to go to Perfect. Esau to get the marriage certificate, man. That, that's, that's, that's how you know they juiced in and, and, and bought and paid for it, man. You say you had some, you had some money? Oh, it's Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord Jehovah, that take counsel, but not of me, and cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may go, they may add sin to sin, that walk, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves from the, from the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. So these people have trusted in the policy of the uh, Hey, give me a little bit of space. Take the camera a little bit, just a little bit. Come through, come through. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you, thank you. What about the YouTube famous? Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, she's just saying what? It's, it's saying the people that's uh, going to trust in this devil going to fall with this devil. At the end of the day, um, Babylon going to be their confusion. And they, these people going to be lost out here walking around not knowing what to do, trying to trust in somebody who can't help them. Did you keep reading? How many verses did you read down? Because there's a couple good verses mm -hmm. there. And, and then you can flip to 31 too. I can give you the first verse and two and Go ahead, I can you say you at three? I'm at three right now. All right, read oh, then, three and then, then jump down to 12 and then we'll jump over to 31. Per, huh? this is, uh, Isaiah 30 and 3. It says, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Your shame, right? Uh -huh. You just said that. Uh, what did you say? These people, when the shit, when, when, when the, when the, when the fucking boot comes down, that's going to be who trusted in Esau is going to be burned by. Keep going, right? It says, it says, Pharaoh's be your shame and trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. It says, you say you want me to jump to 12? The yeah, go ahead, jump down to 12. Uh, it says, it. wherefore, thus saith the, the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay, stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, mm. swelling out in a high wall, while whose breaking cometh suddenly and in an instant.
That's what our people are doing. When the Lord's been merciful, he's about a grace period. But now, since Jacob's been bullshitting, taking that grace period for granted, the Lord is just about to pour out the judgment, man. We're going to drown in the judgment of the Lord. But you can jump over. Isaiah, uh, what, 31? Well, if you keep on saying when, when you reach the theme, like the Lord's going to come talk to y'all, what I want to do. Hey, please, take a look at that please is come with judgment, now it's 66, baby. Right, right. He said go plead with fire and with his sword and with his chariots like a whirlwind, man. He's been trying to talk to you through us. He said he's making the mouth of his prophets since the world began. Yeah, he's not going to come down and personally speak to you. Y'all don't want that, man. You see what happened in Exodus when you asked for that. Moses. Exactly. So he's using, just like back then, the Lord used Moses as what? As a mediator to speak to the Israelites. It's the same thing that's happening now. We are modern day Moses, all right? Modern day Masha, okay? Uh, the word Masha means drawn out. The Lord has drawn us out of the water. The Lord has drawn us out of the Lord has drawn us out of this darkness into his marvelous light, man. And then what are we doing? We're prophesying the downfall of Egypt, man. We're prophesying the Lord's name. And we're prophesying the destruction that's going to come upon this world, man. And we're going into scriptures talking about a new Egypt. You see, uh, the Isaiah 30 we just read, and now we've been to Isaiah 31. All right, did you have a point you want to make a try? Uh, now i got a precept. Right. Isaiah 31. Isaiah 30 and 31, it says, For those, no, no, verse, no, chapter 31, verse 1. Oh, yeah, get up. It says, this is verse, uh, Isaiah 31 and 1, it says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are, are many. All right, Revelation 11 and 8 lets you know that what? It says, This place is known as spiritually Sodom and Egypt, where Rome was crucified, where he was exed out. All right, keep going. All right, it says, In horse, in horsemen. Because they are very strong. They trust, so lucky they trust in Egypt, meaning what? They trust in oppression. As the scriptures say, they trust in bondage. They trust in the land of their captivity. Because uh, Egypt, that's all Egypt is, man. You go into, uh, what is it, Exodus 20? I think mean, it's Exodus 20 and 5. It says Egypt is the house of bondage, man. So you trust in your oppression, man. You trust in your cap, your, uh, uh, your cap, your cap, your cap, your cap. Exactly, which means what? Double straights. What does America mean? It goes back to the Latin Amatico, which means bitter. This is the this is the uh, place of our uh, of bitterness, man. But niggas say that they're not oppressed. You're in America, you're automatically oppressed. All right, the la the name of uh, America itself means to be bitter. That's oppression, man. All right, modern day Egypt, the, the original uh, language is Methazarium in the Hebrew. All right, which means double straights, double affliction, man. That's, that's all we got was hell in this place when niggas is getting comfortable and niggas think shit is going to turn up. You niggas been watching marching for how long? Niggas still celebrating Martin Luther, Martin Luther King. What did Martin Luther King do for you? Niggas is still getting shot in the streets and left there, man. All right? Niggas still getting harassed. Niggas still getting racially profiled. You niggas are still on the bottom. You ain't got shit in here, man. And the scriptures say here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. You niggas is stuck in here in America, but our mind is in the world to come. Going back into that map because we're storing up our treasures in heaven. We're off the rough, doing black rock here. These can break through and steal. Alright? You could be up one day and, and down the next, man. Alright? That's why this is all temporary, okay? We put now we're all, all our eggs into one basket. We put all our eggs into eternity, yes. man. Alright? Into forever, into everlasting, man. The best 401k, because he's so when you die, your 401k is done. The 401k of your how about Shimia Oshai is eternal. For his works do follow him, man. Stop! So you can even die, but as it says in Revelation, your work is, is going to follow you for forever, man, for eternity. So now is the time that we got to root ourselves in this truth because whatever, however we move in, what, what manner of person taught you to be? However you move in in the last day, that's going to carry on with you forever, man. You got it, Jeremiah 23 and 25. I've heard what the prophet said that prophesied lies in my day, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long should this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies, they, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, which they cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, and their fathers have forgotten my name by their own. That have dreamed, that have the dream, let him tell a dream, and he that let my word, let him speak my word. Sorry. Sorry. I have a dream, I have a dream, right? That dream was a fucking nightmare, man. Look what you, he said it himself. He led his people into a burning building, man. And you niggas ain't been 
right ever since, man. You niggas just been waxing worse and worse and worse. That's why the Lord calls you backsliding daughters, man. All these niggas is a bunch of fucking degenerates, as he says in the book of Jeremiah. This nigga Little Nas. He didn't nigga just said he was poor, so he went and got some titties, man. All right? Uh, 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 six nine. who I believe he's E from Northern Kingdom, man. Tattoos all over his fucking face, man. You niggas are degenerates, man. Meaning what? You are following from the quality of uh, uh, your ancestors, man. He didn't tell you about this part of the dream. Exactly right. Up there with uh, uh, heathens and stuff, man. He was in cahoots with the uh, 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 the elites, man. He was just a fucking, um, there's a picture, there's a picture with him with the Rothschilds, man. He was just a puppet to put you niggas back into a deeper sleep. I have dreamed, I have dreamed, yeah. The only way you can dream is if you sleep, man. All right? But the Lord, that's what? He said, He said, awake, awake, we're here to awake you. He sent forth his apostles last, okay? We're here to awake you from that sleep, from that slumber. But what all Israel have not obtained, that what you see here for, the election have obtained it, the rest was blinded. And guess what y'all uh, did? Y'all throwing them, y'all crucified, y'all humiliated them. He ain't coming on the same terms. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. Can't get fooled again. You, right. The point is, you can't fool me again. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Go ahead. Come. What's that going on? Uh, okay. All right, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 23 and 22. Therefore, O Aholibah, thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up thy lovers against thee. <laughs> All right, and when you read it, it's going into a whole and a whole but that's going into the nation of Israel, man. Northern kingdom, the southern kingdom, he say he's going to raise his lovers against me. Your lovers is what? These other nations, man. Started with Esau, Edom, man, because you niggas love Esau. You niggas love your brother, man, your evil twin brother, man. All right, you niggas love the fuck out of him, even though he's killing you and slaughtering you and shows on a daily basis that he hates you, man. Here it is, this nigga uh, implanted crack into your neighborhoods to destroy you, and niggas is still affected by that shit to this day. To this day, right? Like uh, uh, Wilder said, man, to this day this nigga trying to kill you. But then you got simple ass Israelite groups, all right, and, and so-called Israelite leaders. All right, they're not really leaders, man. They're false prophets. Le they are leaders, blind leaders, leading your ass into a ditch, man. Talking about going and get the jab. What about the Tuskegee experiment, man? What about all these different experiments and this devil uh, uh, injecting you with poison and, and, and doing testing and, and experiments on you? But then you got so-called leaders, right? So-called prophets telling you to go take the jab. Telling you to go and check poison. You know what? Do you even know what's in that uh, 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 vaccine, man? You go into it, they got blue crabs, blood, all right? All type of abominations all into a little serum, man. It's a fucking wicked ass potion. It goes back to pharmacaea, which means what? Witchcraft, man. Okay? That's what they said. What? He's a position of no value. Instead of niggas saying trust in the Lord, instead of these, uh, 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 these groups saying trust in the Lord, that's all right? It says, it says, it says, it says, it says Exactly. The, after he told you to do some of the position, he said, I created the position and I saw it. Right. But he said, but my son, when you're sick, you be not naked, pray to the Lord. It says the same thing in James. It says, if any be sick among you, let him pray to the Lord that he may be healed. Roughly paraphrasing, man. It says in the book of Job that the Lord will and he healed him. But you got niggas telling you, who know that there is a life, telling you to go get the vaccine, man. To trust in this devil, to trust in oppression. So that applies to you niggas too, just because you know that you're an Israelite. That don't mean you're going to skate right into the kingdom. The Lord said, don't say that we are we have Abraham as our father. It goes deeper than that, man. And you niggas is not the seed of Abraham. Or you niggas, uh, uh, yeah, you niggas is not the seed of Abraham, man. It says that the, the, uh, uh, the children of Abraham um, are our children through faith, roughly paraphrasing. All right? And that's not a sign of faith. Well, what about your job? You're going to make these black brothers and sisters lose their job? Fuck that job, man. Fuck that job and fuck this world. We're going to trust in y'all, Basham, y'all, shine for everything and anything, man. Like we have doing it with shit. the man. That's exactly what we're going to do, man. On to the end. I uh, um, I will love you, all right? For forever and ever. That's what the Lord is looking for, man. The uh, uh, the ones that follow him whithersoever he goes. 
He said, nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on the earth. That's what he's looking for, the faith-based Israelites. You niggas use that to mock us, all right? But really, uh, really, it was a compliment, man. But you got it, Doctor. It says, Behold, I will raise up thy leaven against thee, from whom thy mind is alienated. Right, and that's what makes you niggas what? Heathens, man. Because you're following after the way of your lovers. You're following after the way of these different heathens, man. So your mind is alienated. Your mind is estranged, okay? Now you're thinking like these uncircumcised demons, all right? Go ahead. It says, and I will bring them against thee. Can you read that part again? Kind of says, therefore, all whole of us, thus said the Lord Yahweh, behold, I will raise up thy lovers against thee, from whom thy mind is alienated. Right, so that's talking about what, man? You know, they alienated against Esau. You know, they alienated against their lovers. You see, here it is, the Lord, you wanted your lovers, so the Lord put you in their hands, and now they abused you and misused you, and now you want to turn your mind away from them. Well, now the Lord is going to judge you now, man. They just complain every day about you, son. Right. And they, they complain about the injustice system and shit, but then they still go and, and, and try to fit in with the devil. Still want a piece of the pie. They say, we, we just want to be part of America. We want to be treated like humans, man. Right. Instead of leaving them and going to the Lord, they still, uh, they against them, they hate them, but they still want to be at peace with them, man. They just bugged out. Still want uh, to partake in this man's right. society, man. You know, when it's structured and set up to uh, go against you in and every, know in every that. point, you know? just know that. And I believe you accept the heart of the man that you hate. You can hate yourself, man. They still want to fit in with them. They just bugged out, man. Uh, in relationship. Yeah. It says, and that will bring them against thee on every side. The Babylonians and all the Chaldeans, the God, the Shoah, the Koah, and all the Assyrians with them, all of them desirable young men, captains and rulers, great lords and renowned, all of them riding upon horses. And they shall come against thee with chariots, wagons, and wheels, and with an assembly of people. Now back in the ancient world, like, like it's going into, it's talking about bringing in the military, bringing in the army against them. They said they're going to come in on chariots, uh, wagons, wheels. Right. And this time, that. that's, 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 that's your military, yeah. fucking humpies, yeah. and goddamn trolls, they're going to come in all of that shit. Yeah. 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 That's like when uh, uh, the Assyrian Empire came against the Northern Kingdom. The Assyrian Empire was vast, man, so it conquered different uh, 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 people. Yeah. I thought I dropped it, brother. Uh, Swat. You know, so it conquered different people, man. Same thing as the Babylonian Empire that absorbed the Assyrian Empire. And, and they army, they had different nations within that army, man. So that's why it named all those different names. So it's going to be the same thing to the, in today's time. The UN, right? Those people, there it is. And they going to come against you, man. Hey, it's in the uh, name of the third chapter, if I'm not mistaken. It's about, uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, and this is uh, Nahum chapter 3 verse uh, 1. Woe to the bloody city. And the bloody city is America, man. This is the bloody city because it was founded on what? Great robbery and murder, man. I hate blood. That's right. This is scripture in Habakkuk, the second chapter. If you right there, um, it says, uh, uh, woe to a city that's established. Let's build blood. Uh, yep, 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 yep. This is uh, Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 12. 12. Woe to him that buildeth the town with blood and establisheth a city by iniquity. How was uh, America established, man? We can go into history to see that. Yeah. You know? We don't need to go precept upon precept just off that. We can just go into history and uh, everybody know how America was established, man. It's well known. You see? So the scripture says, read that again. It says, after 20, after 12, woe to him that buildeth the town with blood establishing a city by iniquity. And America's a big city, man. You see? Because what? Because uh, uh, somebody from New York can travel freely all the way to California and still be what? A U.S. citizen. This is one big city, man. You see? That's the worst citizen goes to. Yep. yep. Okay. It says, back in Nahum 3 and 1, woe to the bloody city, and it's full of lies and robbery, the prey departed not. Right. <laughs> The prey departeth not. We still, uh, we are yet this day in our captivity. And the Lord said in Exodus, uh, uh, if a man still a man and he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death, man. So when the Lord comes back, we still gonna be in his devil's hand, all right? The prey departeth not. He, that's why he's coming back, to deliver us from the hand of our enemies and them that hate us. As it says in the book of Luke, when he comes back, he's gonna come back and put your ass to death. He's gonna come back and bring judgment upon you. He that leads in the captivity shall go in the captivity. He that kills the 
sword must be killed with the sword. It's the patience of the faith of the saints thereof, man. This is going to come to pass. It's going to happen, and that's why you devils are scared. That's why you clipping channels that have less than a thousand uh, uh, subscribers, man. Getting ten views, but you you uh, 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 watching their page, man. All right, because this truth is hurting you. It's cutting you. That's how we know this not no so-called white man's book, man. This this book hurts you. This that fire we read it earlier. This that fire that's burning you up from the inside and it's super to manifest itself on the outside. All right, I got one to back you up. Come. Really, Ezekiel 35, Ezekiel 35 and 10, because that has said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess them whereas the Lord was there. So that's what you saw say. Look, right. we're going to rule over the Lord the Southern Kingdom as if hey, the heavenly Father, as if they have the Lord, man. All right? We're just going to be stuck in their hands forever. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will even do according to thy anger and according to thy envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. I will make myself known among them. I have judged thee. So the Lord is going to do a, a great judgment that's going to make his name known like uh, uh, to resemble and surpass the, the deliverance and judgment of Egypt. Yeah. All right? We're going to celebrate it for forever. That's so right. you know it's got to be glorious, man. For, uh, 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 like Apostle Star said, a million years in the kingdom, we going to be celebrating the downfall of you devils, man. Look how, then look how terrible this hell is. We saw putting on this, man. We're going to re rejoice eternally because right. the Lord's taking us out of this shit, man. This is fucked up. Uh, it says uh, back in uh, Nahum chapter 3 and verse uh, 1 Well, to the bloody city, it is full of lies. The praise of God. It says the bloody city is full of lies. That's how this place was established by lies and deceit, man. So, how do we bring this place down? By pushing the truth. Execute the truth to just uh, just the gates, man. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why it says in uh, Sirach the Sin chapter, it says, Because unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by the sea, the kingdom shall be translated from one people to another, man. So that goes into the lies, the lies, man. Right? It says, Because unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by the sea, look how many covenants are he made with the Nor uh, uh, the uh, Gad, man. All right? That's all I'm saying. It says, that's why they called him a, 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 a four tongued devil. Yep. Because the guy they said, Look, don't write it in our native language. Write it in yours. Because they knew this nigga wasn't going to respect him. He didn't call for the, 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 the treaties weren't made in native category. It was made in English. And he still didn't keep them. All right? That's why everybody's pennies are in a bunch about this ex president doing whatever he did and getting Scott all free. That's the system that has benefited you. What are y'all mad at? There's two legal systems in America. The one that Jake Pope's they get and the one that Esau gets. Psalm 55 and 20. He has put forth his hands against such as we have peace with him. He has broken his cup. The words of his cup was broken in butter. The Lord was in his heart. His words were soft in oil. He kept with a drawn sword. That's how Esau gets down. They come with that peace. All right? But what, what they really bring in is this destruction, man. That's all they can do. They bless him. It's that great sword. All right, hey, what they do to Japan? They bombed their ass, and now Japan is one of their biggest, uh, uh, well, was one of their biggest uh, allies to buy their uh, American debt, man. That's right. And China, too, they propped them up. That's, see, that's how you know it's a house bombed. of cards. You get bombed, and then now you're grappling with it. Not only that, you get bombed, and you have to rebuild our economy. Yeah. Or oh, well, I'm going to fuck you up so bad that I'm going to have a military in your own country. Because the Japanese be protesting the U.S. military there. All right? Even now the Malcolm I'll say when he was in Japan, the, the, the Japanese scoffed at them being there because they were being occupied, all right? The reason why they had to strike against Syria was because the United States is in the Middle East. Even though America is checking what's going on in the South China Sea, even though they're all the way in this side of the hemisphere. And you're gonna tell me this ain't Babylon the Great? And even with that, because, uh... Now, I'm not sure how accurate it is, but I've heard from them, but even when they dropped those bombs with uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, I had heard either that uh, the day before that they had actually uh, surrendered, you know? So, uh, and, then yeah, they, and then they turned around and still bombed them. But they never... baited them. They baited them because even in Pearl Harbor, they took all the soldiers back. That's why it was such a tragedy because the, what Esau does is he'll bait you into attacking them, so he justifies fucking you up. So what he did is he baited them. He brought all the troops back and left just some guys there to get killed so they could justify bombing them out. This is, this is the same guy that dressed as Native Americans to justify killing the natives, man. Let, let, let the, uh, the, uh, Strength be our justice. 
What did he say? He said, he said, uh, that people here, they can, can be counted, man. All right, that's the, bang. Right, you have nothing works. Nothing works, exactly, because his, his law is his dominion. So when he loses it, when that Isaiah 14 comes to pass, it's done, son. Two. It says the noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. Now, mind you, well, well, I'm just going to say that mind you that the, the, the scriptures is written in the vernacular or in, in the uh, words that they that they was available during that time. Man. Exactly. So he's speaking about the, uh, the whip, right? Like when you whip a horse to go faster, right? So they would come in with the chariots, with the wagons. Those were all what? Uh, different uh, uh, military uh, 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 vehicles back then, yeah. man. Translations, it says that war horses. Right, right. Yeah. 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 So that's what, martial law. All right, that's what, uh, uh, these different uh, military vehicles is going to be on your block. Who are you seeing them? You're seeing trains and trains of vehicles and tanks going into Chicago, going into California, man. All right, they're doing helicopters. Uh, uh, different drills and shit in these big cities, man. Why? Because they're going to move on the American citizens. And also, another part of martial law, when you look into it, is when uh, another country attacks your land. The, the people, when they enforce martial law, supposedly protect the citizens so they can fight out. Because when you want to get that, you saw Edom is going to turn upon uh, their own people. But also, these foreign troops are going to be here. The Lord says it's going to fill you uh, with men as like caterpillars. Uh, All right, it's going to be even in this land, man, attacking this place, man. Alright, gonna be going there. I can thank you one more precept. This is uh this is uh Zechariah chapter uh 14. It says, Behold the dead the Lord cometh and thy spoil shall be divided. Oh, this is the this is the day of the Lord cometh, the day how about Shimmy Awashai is putting out the scripture of what's going to happen. Uh, 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 as the Lord uh, uh, is about to make his return, man, you got it? It says, for I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. Like the mention of uh, the uh, UN troops, right? The United Nations invading this place, man, the martial law troops, man. All right? It's going to be the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Jerusalem is about to be attacked. The Jerusalem, Jerusalem is going to be seized again. And, and this seed is going to be worse than anything. And it says, them that are joined to them shall be thrust through. Yeah. You holding on to the scenario, you're going to die the American death, man. Russian troops, Chinese troops, uh, uh, blue helmets. All right? All that's happening, man. It says, and I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the house is rifled, and the woman ravished, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. There it goes right there, man. You know, but just getting the point out of me, it's going to be different nations coming up together against who? Israel, man. Just like it happened throughout history. All right, and we're reading about it again. Uh, we're reading about it here in Ezekiel, and it's going to happen again, man. You know? It says, uh, I'll go back to that Nahum, you know? It's back in Nahum. This is back in Nahum 3 and 2. Oh, okay, that's Speak up, bro. Yeah, um, just grabbing a free set, you know, to back up uh, the brothers, you know, speaking of martial law coming to America. Uh, it's the Isaiah chapter 10, uh, sorry, that verse 5. Oh, Assyrian, proud of my anger, and the staff in their hand is my indignation. I will send them against a hypocritical nation, and against the people of my wrath, uh, of my wrath, will I give them a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey, and to tread them down like the fire of the streets. That's another martial law uh, scripture, you know, showing that it's going to be a trip to the Americans, you know. Yeah, they're looking for the people to come out. It's a lot of their Syrian with uh, Esau, man. Alright, so he's going to bring Esau against Jacob. That's all I'm written about, man. He's going to bring this devil to U.S. government, alright? They're going to deem, they're going to outlaw Israel. He's being an Israelite. Going back to that Proverbs 1, the Lord said, how long will you delight in your scorn? Right. All right, the Lord has put us in the hands of Esau. You revolt more and more. What more can the Lord do now? It's just wipe you out. It's like it says in Ezekiel 23, your brother had. Hey, the Lord said, they're going to take away your nose, man. They're going to take away your nose, your work, all of that, man. Because you didn't return to the Lord. This is the time we can repent and get right with our Father. Y'all still want to lean upon him and smite us, man. Y'all going to march. Go to Esau for justice. The same man that shoot you without justice. That's madness, man. Hey, uh, uh, what's that second entrance? The first chapter, the Lord said, What more could I have done unto, uh, uh, unto my people, man? Uh, 
He said, man, I, I, I slew kings for you, you know? He said, I fed you when you, when you was hungry. He said, I gave you water when you was thirsty, when you was talking shit, you know? Lord said, what more could I have done, man? He said, who will forsake the uh, uh, whole water? water right, right, right. Yeah, that's crazy, man. He had the perfect setup, man. The perfect location. You got a mountain behind us. It's providing fresh water, but they didn't want to go to some damn stale water, man. Right, and, and, and that's beautiful that you made that point because uh, in the book of uh, Judith, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, you know, don't, uh, don't quote me on it, but it's a, uh, um, they was coming to war against us. And they was like, man, we got to get them to come into the plain because if we go up and fight in the mountains, they going to overtake us, man. You know, so uh, uh, so our uh, our city was fortified, man. Yeah. Surrounded by mountains, and it was hard. It kind of like it reminds me of the uh, 300 yeah. when they had to uh, come come through that little yeah. narrow place. Yeah. Now, you know, yeah. it's part of the art of war. You have something that you had. That way, you only got to worry about what's in front of you to your side. Can't be ambushed and stuff. So so, so it, it was a beautiful thing. Hey, hey, the Lord set us up in, in in a beautiful position, man. You know, but we forsook Him, man. Cause that's the key thing. What it, what it says in the uh, uh, in the law, the Lord said, make sure that you don't do none of these things that these heathen do, because the land will vomit you out just like how it did them, man. And Jake did exactly that. When you when we forsook Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, he kicked us out of that land, man. That land forsook us, man. You know. Uh, uh, Isaiah chapter ten. And just the point, because the brother has brought up in now Isaiah, it says, uh, "Oh, Syrian, the rod." Uh, Staff in their hand is my indignation, meaning the Lord's indignation, man. So when we read in Revelation 12 and 12, when it says the devil shall come down after great wrath, because he know that he had for the short time, when he comes down upon Jake, man, really it's the wrath of the Lord, man. Right. Going down and going into Psalm 17 chapter, man. It says, uh, deliver me from the wicked, which is thy sword. Malachi 1 and 4 tells you that the wicked is the nation of Edom. So the Lord is going to use Esau, Edom to fuck you niggas up like he yeah. did throughout history, man, well, with these other nations. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful that you say like these other nations, man. The one in particular in my mind was Nebuchadnezzar. The Lord said, Nebuchadnezzar is my servant, man. Yeah. And he said, I'm going to send him to do what I want him to do, man. Right, right. He thought Cyrus is shepherd. Yeah. Yep. 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 Epiphany yep. says this man that commanded the waves of the sea. And what, what the Lord do? Humble his ass. So when we read Jeremiah 4 and 7, that was speaking about what? Nebuchadnezzar coming to fuck up the Gentiles, man. Because the Lord had put it uh, in his mind to go do that. I said, open up the secret places. You know? The secret hidden treasures. That was something about Cyrus, too. Yep. Yep. But it's sort of the Lord controls these things, man. Yep. You know? and, and, and he said he's going to deal with these points. Hey, man, the Lord is putting that uh, hell on us, man. Yep. By the hands of you, so. The Lord willing, not us, man. So that's like we're not people, man. The Lord willing, the Lord got up the street, man. The wrath is for the wicked, man. It says, for their sake also came the flood, blood, death, destruction, right? That was all created for the wicked, all right? The Lord is going to deliver the, uh, uh, the, the, the his servants that's pleasing him, man. All right, it says, by the foolishness of preaching, it say, uh, it please the Lord to uh, save them that believe, man. Hey, that's why I was pleased to go ahead. Well, that's why we're doing this first. What's that? Luke 21, our Lord said, uh, uh, watch. First, he says, take these and you'll be given up to surfing, all right, and drunkenness. Then he says, stand upon our watch, continue with prayer that you may escape the things that you come, and stand before the Son of Man. That's why we're doing this work, man. Going to, you know, the beginning of the topic, you know, the beginning of the lesson of this life. That's why we're doing this work, man, so we can hopefully be saved, man. You got to believe that the Lord is a rewarder to them. That. First of all, you got to believe that he is. You got to believe that Yahweh is power, man. He is, all right, and he sent his son, Yahweh Shah. He allowed his son to did to him, he was the king of Babylon, which in Daniel the second chapter explains that he's the head of gold, man, right? And, 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 the Lord, mm -hmm. and the Lord humbled that man to the point where he was a beast for a certain amount of time, man. You know, it says his hairs grew like feathers, his nails grew like talons, man. He was out there with the with, with the oxen, man. He was eating grass, man. And that's exactly what the Lord did with Esau Edom. See, Esau was the Romans, man. That that that, that empire of iron, right? That it says what? It, 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 uh, 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 how did it word it? Great iron teeth, and it breaking pieces and, 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 and bruised. The earth was quiet before. You know, and here it is. The Lord humbled that man to the point where he chased him into the mountains and turned his ass into a goddamn cave piece, man. 
And now he brought them back out through uh, what with a thing called Renaissance. According to Revelation, the 20th chapter, the Lord let this devil back out and gave him rulership again. So that goes back to what? Believing that the Lord is, man. Because the power that he, that, 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 that he has to take Esau and do what he's doing, man. So man, we got to believe that the Lord is able to deliver us, man. Yeah, hey, can you give us Isaiah 45 starting at 1? It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, and verse 1. Let's say it the Lord to his anointed. To Cyrus, whose right hand I have holded. Now you know that the Lord controls the kings, all right? Now he ruled to the kingdom of men. And that's what that yeah, yeah. just said. Yeah, he got back, he said, shit. <laughs> now Yahweh ruled to the kingdom of men, all right? Hey, serve the God of David. And Jesus, like, you got this the God to serve right here, man. That's all we are serve with off the devil's cup. He said, you saw what your father did. Right. You saw the Lord dealt with it. All right, these heathens know, man. Come through, bro. You come through, bro. Thank you. To subdue nations. Because what it says, Proverbs, I think it's 21 and 1. It says the king. Lord, it is. There it is. Just interject real quick. So, even going back to that wrath, right? When him coming down with great wrath, the Lord put it in his spirit to do that, man. Because what? He wants to fuck up Jake, man. He wants to jack up the wicked of our people as a punishment. And then when jumping down now, Isaiah, the 10th chapter, it says once he's pretty much accomplished his wrath, He's going to turn around and punish this down hard of the king of Assyria, man. So that shows you how cold the Lord is, man. I'm going to use you to jack up my people, right? Then, but then I'm going to turn around and jack you up for messing them up, man. It's cold, but it's his movie, man. The he's just an object to the Lord, man. Yeah. You're just the tool that he's using, man. He's that's the last thing. Yeah, that's the same chapter. He's the axe. Yep. He's the axe. the axe both against uh, him that you were there with, man. And that's the part of this devil. He was like, I'm going to do something with that. That's why I said, I right. gathered all the nations that got me. All right. I'm about the riches. Right. It's like how you quote it. It says that the Lord gave uh, Cyrus those riches. Right. He opened up the hidden riches. But in Isaiah 10, Esau saying that he found the riches. I said the Lord. No, the Lord opened that up. Up, man, the Lord gave you that, man. Right. Yeah. That's why it says in that Ezekiel says, shall, uh, shall thou say that thou art a God before him that slayeth thee? <laughs> so when you get when the Lord brings judgment upon you, you're gonna sit there and boast about I'm a God, I can do this and that and the third, you're gonna be in chains, right. you're gonna be in captivity. Well, that's Ezekiel 25. The Lord said that he will lay his uh, uh vengeance upon Edom by the hand of his people Jacob, man. Roughly paraphrasing, man. So here it is, man. When you're asking uh, uh uh what's that, Amos 9, I think. Where the Lord said, uh, uh, though they uh, climb up into Mount Carmel, yet where my hand take them, Such though they mountain. climb up into heaven, they dig deep into the uh, into hell. I'm roughly paraphrasing the scripture, right? Well, who's the Lord's hand? You see? So the Lord is going to use his men to become those hunters, man. Yeah. So you're going to say you a God before the face of, uh, of an elect man? When he throwing your ass in the pit? When he putting them goddamn chains and fetters on your ass, man? You know? He said, I'm going to show that the Egyptians are but men. That's not, right. not God, man. You ain't no God, man. All right? You're just a mortal man. Not only are you a mortal man, you're the basis of mortal men. The Lord rules in the uh, uh, in the kingdom of men, roughly paraphrasing Daniel. Man, he got control over all of that, man. But let's get to this Isaiah. Back in that Isaiah. Uh, um, back in Isaiah 45. Uh, yeah, let's start at one. say the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have folded, to subdue nations before him, and I will loose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf, uh, the two eleven gates, and the gates shall not be uh, shut. So nobody's going to stop Cyrus from taking over, man. All right, the Lord's going to have kings fear before him, man. All right. Uh, verse two: I will, go, I will go before thee and make thee crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut asunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches in secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, with the power of Israel. Right, so the Lord set up these heathens. All right, the Lord gave Daniel the vision of the kingdom from uh, Syria to Media, uh, to, to Babylon, Media Persia, to Greece, to Rome, to Rome 2.0 to show that he is the power of Israel. Right. Everything that happened, even us getting put in this horrible ass slavery, is to show that our power is the true power. All right, it says uh, about these other guys, have them do good or evil. Our power will show he do both That's good it. and evil. I'm sure you what that verse is at. It says, so uh, yes, let them do good or evil. Them other guys can't do shit, man. All right. I believe this is it. This is Isaiah chapter 43 and verse uh, 9. 
Let all nations be gathered together and let the people be assembled. Who among them can declare this and show us former things? Let them bring forth their witnesses and they may be justified or let them hear and say it is truth. Ye are my witnesses. It says, Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he before me. There was no God formed. Right, and that's why the Lord said, Well, he told us these things before they happened. So Jake can say, My idol done these things. We know these are the gods that they're not even gods, man. All right, we have the true living power, man, because we as witness. We got put on slave ship. That's the witness. All right, we got brought to the bottom. You saw above us. We're not called after our heritage no more. We call Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, black, all this That's other shit, man. That's to show that hey, our power is the true power, man. The things he say he performs. Because a true God is, om is omnipotent, man. He controls all things. And that's our power, man. That's it. It says, um, and understand that I am he before me. There was no God born. Neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord Yahweh, and beside me there is no Savior. I have declared and have saved, and I have shown when there was no strange God among you. 41, 23. 41. I knew I was right around here, bro. This is Isaiah chapter 41. Damn, I knew that. It's Isaiah 41 and verse 23. Show the things that are to come. Start up, though. Start up. This is... Uh, start at 20. Uh, Isaiah chapter 41 and 20. That Hold day. On. Shit. Start at um start at 15. Start at 14. 14? Yeah. Let you read through it first. Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 14. I started 13. Bible for shot. It says, For I the Lord thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. So if this is a comfort to us, man. If you really think about it, our power controls all things. So when you say don't worry about it, you mean don't worry about it, man. He got us. All right? Mm -hmm. And they say he's a guide to him that keep his commandments. Psalm uh, 91 sure. says we're going to look to the left, see a thousand fall, uh, look to our right, see another thousand fall, but it should not come yeah. like thee. Oh, but that eye shall not be Right. right. At yeah. this point, we should understand the Lord, is, hey, he got us. He's in control. He said, I brought these curses upon you. I'm going to bring these blessings. I've done this evil. I'm going to bring this good. But Jeremiah, I believe. It says that. Yeah, I had a uh, quick one, just a real quick one. Uh, just, just showing how the Lord controls everything. This is uh, First Samuel, uh, First Samuel, uh, the second chapter. Six. Yeah, in six, right? It says, "The Lord killeth and maketh alive; He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich; He bringeth low and lift up." So it's, it's, a, it's, a, yeah. So it's the Lord that's controlling everything, man. He's the one that's, uh, uh who brought up Esau, you know. And to uh to uh to have him in this latter time to come come uh come down with that wrath. In all, in all ages, man, when you read Romans nine, yeah. the Lord said, like, He said, for this same reason I wrote, I, I have risen up Pharaoh, man. So the Lord raised up what uh, uh, the Egyptian king Pharaoh way back then to show his might. So it's the same thing that's taking place here with us. You know, the Lord is controlling all that. And another thing I wanted to mention is that the Lord make it rich. Daniel, all right, and in the fire, 
what happened, man? It said they didn't even smell smoke on their clothes. And the heat was so hot when the other from the dark didn't even know they consumed them outside the outside of the uh, the furnace. So the Lord, he, he said, he got you, he got you. So fear not that one. Daniel and the lions did. Huh? You know? That have to come and beat him while he was in there with the lions, man. Right, the lions so hungry, they ate the soldiers, they didn't eat the bones. They ate the bones, man. They said they got the mastery of them. You know? So what's up? You got to go. Yeah, this is us, Sirocco, living in 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. So that's right, man. So all that's in the hand of the Lord, man. So just tying into what the brothers are saying, it's nothing for the Lord on the instant to, uh, to revive us with what we need, man, you know? And the same thing, it ain't nothing for an instant for the Lord to bring judgment upon them. Uh, and and the, thing, the beautiful thing about it is, second is the second chapter. All right, so we're gonna have a purpose, man. It's gonna slow down, look, we're gonna be rough, we're gonna be weird out here, but honestly, the Lord said, God is fear not yeah. thou one judgment. He showed us all the, the power we got. Yeah. He fucked us up, right? Now it's time for the blessing. That's why we're doing this work. What's that to you? It's time to uh, be ready to distribute, willing to do good, or right, so you can store up. Uh, uh, um, against that day. Uh, yeah, against that day. Come on. So we're doing this work so the Lord can, hey, the Lord is our reason for service, but also it comes with reward. It comes with salvation. This truth do what? It makes us wise into salvation. Or our labor is not in vain, man. I'm I just kidding. Go ahead. This is uh, 1 Timothy chapter uh, 6 and verse uh, 17. It says, uh, or verse 19. It says, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation. Okay, verse 18. That they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come. Right, so doing this work is actually... And this is the true investment, our right, investment against the day to come. So when all hell breaks loose, what the Lord will hit go, hit some deposit. Here you go, you got this. And this says abundance, man. All right, it says the heat is going to envy us. Hell, some of these heathens going to be looking out. You're going to be surprised. They're going to be four robots just doing shit for you. They're like, why am I doing this? Helping this nigga out. All right, because the Lord controls the minds, man. Right there, right. This is a uh, uh, day of affliction. I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well, yeah. and that's in the book of Jeremiah, you know? Okay. It says, uh, if thy ways please the Lord, he take it uh, his enemies. The enemies can't yeah. please me. Yeah. Ah! Hey, that's the key thing, man. Look, it's like going back to what the brother told us, man. And he moves the left. You must believe that the Lord is, man. He is. That's what his name means. He exists. You got to believe in his omnipotence, man. Right. Ain't no free will. All right. Right. Ain't yeah. no free will. Yeah. We got to believe that the Lord is true. Hey, it says in all, uh, uh, the fear of the Lord is all wisdom, and all wisdom is the keeping of this law. I'm the yeah. So once you really get into this word, you really begin to understand that this is the true power we serve. In. This this is the power that controls everything. This is the true God. Not some God would say that Christianity is a piece of shit. All right, the so, what the so-called Christianity. All right, because they tell you that one of the Lord's angels decided to get mad and fought him in his own kingdom. Not even the earth and the flesh, which still won't happen, but fought him in his own kingdom. According to his own will, man, that's madness. Man. Like the Lord created this being, and he couldn't, he couldn't control, control this being. Okay, like, dumb. so this being just rebelled and, like he it's said, fought, and fought him in the heavens and came down and fucking shit up on the earth. <laughs> like the Lord just, just can't do nothing with it. Like the Lord pacing back and forth, like, oh, this nigga's Satan. <laughs> you know? Like you can't get his own side. Get the fuck out of here, man. Right. The That's Father's Spirit. Right. Now, I don't know if y'all have uh, seen the Tron, Tron Legacy. It was pretty much a dude he had made, like a, a computer, it's pretty much like a computer game or whatever. And then the thing was, he had created this damn uh, computer system, and the motherfucker put him in captivity. It was bugged out, but his brother seen it. It was the same thing. They act like, oh, like the Lord just, now he in captivity against Satan. Satan, like, it's just a bunch of bullshit, man. That's, that's what all the robot movies are about. That the creation turns on the creator on his own. Right. See, but the, the whole time, they can only, they can only do what they're programmed to do. That's why I got to tell you what. The Lord says they're going to be afraid to fight, but the Lord's going to put that shirt on them to fight them. Right. It says the devil's tripping. All right? And it says the Lord said he hardens Pharaoh's heart. The Lord's heart is his heart. The Lord is controlling the spirits. Right. He puts the last spirit out there. Right. Yeah. All right. The Lord is controlling all these things. We serve the true living power, man. It says who has resisted his will. I asked him real fast that you were earlier. It's 
Psalms 75 and 6, for promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south, but Yahweh. What is it like? What does God say? Lift not up your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff back. Right. It says, verse set up, read six again. It says, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south, but Yahweh is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. Verse 5 said, Don't lift your horn up on high, man. Yeah. It's the Lord that removes kings and sets kings up, man. You know, the Lord puts people in their position and removes them from that, man. Yeah. Right. You know, going to that word promotion, it means advance, it means rank. So who's going to advance us from this lowest state? It's the Lord. We went back into that sample and said he's going to raise us up from this dunghill and set us among uh, uh, princes, man. All right? So that's on an instant. Suddenly, the tweet of the eye will be changed from mortal. You think it's, they, they look at us as niggas. They look at us as chicks. The offscoring of the earth, man. Pieces of shit on the earth. All right? Like a waste of space. But in an instant, the Lord is going to change us into gods. Uh, that that uh, he who is now looked for to show room, which of course is yeah. talking about Yahweh Shai, but through the Spirit, and we're upon with Yahweh Shai. It's his kingdom. It's our kingdom. Yeah. Because, exactly. Because he wants to suffer with him. Exactly. So everybody, China's next. China's yeah. next. So no, man, the Lord's been out of nowhere. These men is on the corners with sackcloth going prophesying. All right? We're going to be ruined, man. That's, that's, that's Mark. That's what's inside your time. It right. says, yeah, yeah. That's, that's far from me, man. They, 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 they like that hell, man. It's impossible. So how, how is he? he? Who we had sometime in the region? Yeah, I see numbered amongst the saints, man. Yep. You know? That's what they so they not they not looking for these people on the sign to rule next, man. You know? Okay. This is uh Sirach 11 and 5 you quoted it. It says, Many kings have sat down upon the ground, and one that was never thought of hath worn the crown. That's right. All right, with well, those how was shy, but hey, he said what? He's gonna uh, uh put crowns on our heads, man. By head from his head. I believe that's uh Sirach 5. Oh, so what's that with five? Yeah. Huh. Right. Uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 wow. and verse uh, 16 or 15. It says, but the righteous live forevermore. Yeah. Immortal, all right? You, you, can't, you can't kill us, man. We've been coming back, all right? We was prophesying back then in the right. beginning, prophesying again here in the end. You can't get rid of us, man. You could kill this mortal body, right? We're going to come back in the immortal body, man. Yeah. We're going to come back as gods that can't be hurt. No and more at pain. Some, at some point, you're going to be able to kill this body. Exactly. And I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. Exactly. I mean, we should all be changed. Yeah. Yeah. At some point, you're going to be able to do that, man. Right. Trying to shoot the wreck. Stop the bullets in the air or there. Take the bullet and pull the mask. You know, suck in and shoot the bullets back at your ass, man. Like Dorian. It's always time. This is Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted them and made no account of his labor. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of salvation so far beyond all the Right. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This is he whom we had sometimes in derision. You know how fucked up they're going to miss that the anguish of spirit. They're going to be so fucking hurt, man. Soul pressure. Right. Hurt, man. Not even just physically. Mentally, they're going to be broken like these right. niggas. Right. We did all this to these niggas. They really the children of God. They know what's next. They know. Right. They got the term angry black man. They going to be, they know we own their ass, man. We yeah. <laughs> fools are counting his life badness and his good yeah. to be without honor. Right. They thought they was, we was going to pass away and whoever gets next, we still at the bottom. That's one thing they know. They got a they got a good solid right. working slave class, man. No. Hey, I was just gonna say, just like in the book of Acts, man. In the book of Acts, it's like you said, uh, uh what this this uh, uh this man basically he crucified Yahweh uh, has set him on the right hand side, man. Huh? And he was sent for this, and it said that what that they were pricked in their hearts. Hey man, those people were fucking cut, huh? And and and, in, and these last times, hey, it's gonna be the same thing. These people are gonna be approved, man. Uh, 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 the, the, the women that have left the men of the Lord, man, they're gonna feel like shit knowing that this man was out there standing for the Lord, man, and that you, 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 you regarded him as nothing, you know, and all your family members talking shit, hey, everybody that, that's come up against us, man, for, for the truth's sake, 
you know, that are with us because we make righteous changes in our life, man. You know, we're gonna fucking suffer, man. Yeah, you love me when I was a nigga. Now that I'm a man of the Lord, now you yeah. you have a disdain towards me. Right. You saw okay. stupid ass. Well, that, that's good though. That shows that their spirit was wicked anyway, man. All right. It says in the book of Revelation, it says that a cloud received them. The cloud speaking of the chariot. It said even their enemies beheld them, man. All right. So we eat all of our enemies, man. All right. On a wide scale, these other nations, or right? even the personal enemies that uh, that we have, even in these last days. It says she that is my enemy, the same shall see it, man. She shall be charted down like the modern, the, like the mire in the streets, man. So all our enemies, the Lord is going to reveal who he's dealing with and who he's not dealing with. In those days, uh, 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 you shall know who the Lord chosen is. When these things begin to come to pass, then you shall know a prophet that's been among you, man. The Lord is showing who he's dealing with. Oh, we got, a, we got treasures stored up for us, man. We got a great reward stored up for us, man. All we have to do is uh, continue to remain faithful, man. In the book of uh, um, uh, Hebrews, the 10th chapter, it says, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward, man. This come with a good a, a, a good payday at the end of it, man. A good lump stuff. Matter of fact, we already getting paid, man. The Lord taking care of us on the daily, man. He giving us all type of benefits on the daily, man. All right? This is our reasonable service, man. The Lord taking care of us, okay? And he's going to continue to take care of us when there ain't no more Walmart, when there ain't no more work, when the dollar collapse, when the economy collapse. He's going to continue with the brother Porter in the second entrance. His hand is going to cover us, man. We shall have abundant and be merry. The heathen shall envy us, but shall be able to do nothing against us, man. No, like you, like we said earlier about that treasure. Yeah. If you typically see when the pirate hides the treasures, when he's in his mirth, he's in abundance. He stores this box so that in a later right. day, when he's broke, he goes and taps into this map and gets what he put away. That's, that's, that's what's going to be the face. We have treasure with something stored for future that. use. That's the that word. Where's the time to use the building of that time? Strength of salvation! Yeah. Ah! Strength of salvation, yeah. So this fear, you know, is, is, is a pagan for us. And the Lord, Lord said he's coming for who? Them that tremble at his word. Uh -huh. Them that need a physician, man. When he puts that word, look, he needs to care for him. So he looks, he, he cares for a man that fears him, man. Contrite, was it broken? And this says put on, put on the elect those balls of mercy, patience, all of them. And all that encompasses you being an actual brother. All right, dude, this ain't no one man army. All right? The ball hangs upon this. No man hangs upon Shai, man. All right, when you read about Yahweh Shai, it says that uh, they said that they thought that he was beside himself, man. Right. John, what did they say about John? He said, look, if you all came with John, Paul was an actual learned man. So they don't want either way. They look, whether we be unlearned or learned, oh, yeah, they don't good. like us. Yeah, you, you don't. don't. John came uh, uh, not eating and drinking. Yahweh Shai came eating and drinking. And we said both of them had a double, man. So fuck you niggas. We not out here to please you. We out here to please Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. You niggas can't be pleased, man. What did Paul say? He said, look, I was I was in my nation first. Of the straightest set. Learn from y'all. All right? And then what? He said. He went to his own. All this is good to say. Objective. And then even going back to where uh, it said that Yahweh was shot, that it was, he was uh, beside himself. Are right, you going to that phrase that was saying that they thought he was out of his mind, man? And that's the same thing that they look at us, man. Your family is out of his mind. They thought he had devils on him. Yeah, right. They think right. possessed all type of stuff. Yeah, so they they, they, they encounter uh, 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 our hey, they encounter Yahweh was shot. He was mad. This dude is mad, man. He think he's the son of the Most High. The same thing with us, man. Oh, what, he out there? What, he's supposed to be a prophet? Are you a preacher? What are you doing with your life, man? The same thing, man. How was his number among the children of the Most High? And his life was among the saints. Therefore, have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shined upon us, the son of righteousness, the of And that's that great regret. They don't realize, like, no, he was tripping. They're looking at us like, y'all niggas is tripping, but when all hell break loose, and especially when they see the salvation, they be like, we erred, we fucked up, all right? We was the ones that's tripping, man. And that's why it's important, man, not to get discouraged, man. Continue continue on the road that we walk in, man. Don't be ashamed of, uh, of the cross of Yahweh or what we have to go through, man. 
Because, hey, the Lord said, you're going to be ashamed of me. I'm, hey, hey, well, I, I'm, I'm going to be ashamed of you when I come uh, 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 in the glory of my Father with the holy angels. Right? I'm paraphrasing, man. Hey, these people are walking in the wrong way, man. We're walking in the right way. That's why in 2nd Edges 15, it says, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, man. You know? All their faithful shall die in their faithful. Let's get this all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and uh, 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, as much as you know that your labor is not in vain for the Lord. There you go. So, like the brother man said, don't be discouraged, man. His labor is not in vain, man. So, we, we, hey, for the spirit, that's always a vow. That's all, man. This is our job, man. All right, um, what does it say in Sirach? The sixth chapter. The meditation there is the perfection of wisdom. All right, let us be consumed by this word, man. Let's give ourselves holy offer to this doctrine, man. Thank you. Right, because we shall save ourselves from your man hear us, man. Man, it says, uh, uh, it says, uh, you gotta that he is, and what do you say? Because that, because there's, there's something to be done by your book. You know, you're a book, you sure? You got nothing to get on top of that. I guess it's all Teach. 
adversity will, man. So if these words not stirring something in you to move the right way, well, guess what? The Lord gonna bring yeah. something on your ass, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Like, like, you used to hear when you was younger, you're gonna have to learn the hard way then. You didn't want to listen the first time, you're gonna have to learn the hard way. In Spanish, bro. He said, see them like, we're not. See, see. We got some Spanish campaigns. It says, um, uh, this is Jeremiah 46 and 27. But fear thou, but fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel. For behold, I will save thee from afar off, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return and be in the rest, and be in rest and at ease, and none shall make him afraid. Right? So the Lord starts off by telling us, like, look, look, don't try. I'm going to take care of you. I got you. I'm going to give you the expected end. That's so on and so forth, right? But let's keep reading. Verse uh, 28. Fear thou not, O Jacob, my servant, said the Lord, for I am with thee, for I will make a full end of all the nations whither I have driven thee, but I will not make a full end of thee, but correct thee in measure, yet will I not leave thee wholly unpunished. So there it goes right there. So it's letting us know, hey, we get corrected in measure, man. All right? And the scripture says, the righteous said to himself, I'm a very indignation of the Lord because I've sinned against him. That's the integrity of the men of the Lord, man. You read throughout our forefathers, all right, the history of our forefathers, they accepted certain judgments that they had to suffer, man. And it was a priest in the uh, book of Samuel, 1 Samuel, right? Now his sons were going off, and he didn't correct his sons the way that he needed to, right? So then the, uh, the prophet Samuel told him, the, uh, the Lord told him the judgment that he was going to have to suffer. And that priest, he was like, hey, And he continued his reason until he uh, uh, ended up uh, uh, dying, man. You know, until his uh, uh, seed got judged and so on and so forth. But the point being, showing you the integrity that these men have, man. And that's the same integrity we have to have. We go through certain things, man. Hey, and fuck it, I'm getting punished less than my iniquities deserve. And the Lord's still with me. He still got me. Even when we get jacked up, even when we go through different things, like the Lord it. still shows that I'm here. I'm that, with you. that shows that the Lord is with us, man. In Hebrews 12, it says, If thou be without chastisement, you are then are ye a fast man, you are not son. Because the Lord chastened every son whom he received, man. So going through those things shows that you are son. It shows that the Lord is with you, man. So we got to have that mindset, man. When we catch an L, it ain't, oh, man. Just, uh, no, man, that shows that the Lord is with us within right, that, man. When the Lord bless you to endure it, that means you can come out yourself. The gotta, only way you can it. endure is through the Spirit, man. Yes, man. So, what's that? Romans 5, we rejoice in uh, uh, and suffering, and suffering right? Work of patience, work patience work experience, work, 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 experience, hope. Oh. And it says, hope make it not ashamed, because the love of the most side shattered by our hearts through the Holy Spirit. We going through these, when we going through a hell, and our, our mind, our focus, our faith is still on the kingdom of heaven. That's the Spirit of the Lord that got us in the kingdom of heaven. Then you do your part to fulfill the other part, which yeah. is what your works, your yeah. faith, right? Because uh, uh, like the scriptures say, hey, look, hey, you work in they work in patience, work in tribulation, because all that is, is is refining the man that needs to be refined in. Because if you're hardened, the Lord can't do nothing with you. You're a lump of clay to the Lord. He's gonna mold you to where you need to be. I heard a brother say, hey man, look, I'm impatient. I said, well look, the Lord's gonna have a sense of humor to show you patience, because that's what the Lord requires. You to be moldable, you to be clay. If you're hardened, the Lord got no part with you. If you're stiffened in, in, in pride, the Lord got no part with you, man. Right, you can be broke. Like the brother using the uh, analogy of clay. Well, when you look at clay, what? When it's malleable, when it's soft, you can form it to the uh, 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 the image you want it, man. But if it's hard, what, what you gonna do with it? Right, we not like this stiff neck keep you. know? Uh, no. And that's that Romans 8. It says we should be conformed to the image of the Son. So the Lord is molding us, man. And we don't, hey, like it talks about in the book of Acts, it talks about uh, Stephen was cursing out our people. He was like, you do uh, always resist the Holy Spirit, man. Well, obviously, you're hearts, you know? That's right, that's right, man. So that what? They were being hard-headed, man. The Lord was like, it's like trying to show you the way, trying to mold you. If you try to stay there stiff and hard, you're just going to get broken, man. You know? So we got to be able to iron the Lord. The Lord will be like the Lord. Not to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, huh? So we have to be 
sculpted in the image of the Howard Shark, but our minds being transformed. That's why I said in Isaiah, the chapter says that the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man, his thoughts, then the Lord will let them be pardoned. And that's how you will get the pardon, first and foremost, with the sacrifice that Yahweh Shark made. But those that are in the spirit, all right, they're sin pardoned, they're going to conform to that image, they're going to forsake their own ways and their own thoughts, all right, and, 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 and be to the image of Yahweh Shark. Take the Lord, his That's judgment. It, man. You, you hear that? Like, exactly. You come to a camp or something, and you hear something like, oh, you clear missile. What? You know, no, you're going to repent, man. You're going to repent, like it says in uh, Luke, the 13th chapter. If That's you it. fear the Lord, though, because these yeah. people have hardened themselves where they don't believe. So, yeah. guess what? That child, they, look, some of you are going to have to learn the hard way. Death by pain. Well, Is it not written? Well, that's what we teach, man. You know, you got these other camps, man, talking about gathering all Israel. Who the ones that speaking about the elect? The elect, the elect, the elect. Going back into the fear of the Lord, so the first chapter says that that was created with the faithful in the womb, man. So going back to what, man? The brother spoke about being made in the image of the Son. Well, continue that scripture. It speaks about those that are predestinated to be made into the image of the Son, man. Going back to that earnest down payment in Ephesians, the first chapter that the brothers were speaking of. It speaks about those that who were ordained, who were predestinated to receive that down payment, man. So that's who he's speaking to. It's all of the elect. When Yahweh Shah spoke, he said, if uh, who have ears to hear, let them hear, man. Meaning what? He that is able to understand, let him understand. Meaning the Lord is going to open our uh, uh, whoever mind to receive it or not, man. You know? That's what he's eleven, our brother. Uh, let's put this, uh, real quick. this is Sirach 16 and 11. And if there be one stiff neck among the people, it is marvel, it is marvel if he escape unpunished. For mercy and wrath are with him. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. So hey, so hey, hey, this ain't the time to be a, a stiff neck, man. A hard head make a soft behind, like they say in the world, man. Hey, so hey, you can't be a stiff neck, man. You gotta hey, repent and, and turn from your wicked ways, man, because the Lord controls the mercy and, and and the wrath that He about to bring, you know. So you want to be in the good hands of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by doing uh, following the commandments to the best of your ability, man. You know, have the faith, because without faith it's impossible to please. So yeah. going back into that uh to that Hebrews, man, and with your faith, what comes works. As far as what keeping the laws and the commandments to the best of your ability, all right, and coming out here and doing this work and pushing the vibration, the righteous vibration of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. This is not in vain as we read in our first Corinthians, man. All right, the, 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 there's a reward at the end of this, okay? I got this, uh, this is the book of uh, Hebrews, chapter 11, in verse, uh, I'm gonna start at verse five. It says, "By faith, Enoch was translated that he should By not." By faith, see. come on now. By faith, he was translated. He was beamed up by his faith, man. And it says that his heart, that his spirit, pleased Enoch's spirit. My boy. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter four and ten. It says he pleased the Most High and was beloved of Him, so that living among sinners, he was translated. Hey, the beautiful thing is, hey, we, we are being told us to to the Lord. Going forth. It says, happy are we, O Israel, because the things that are uh, pleasing unto the Lord are made known unto us. How is it being made known? Through the Lord's Holy Spirit, man. There's a scripture in Wisdom of Solomon 9 where it says, this is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 9 and verse uh, uh, 10. It says, oh, send her out of thy holy heavens and from the throne of thy glory, that being present she may labor with me, that I may know what is pleasing unto thee. For she knoweth and understandeth all things, and she shall lead me soberly in my doings and preserve me in her power. Right? You know, so this word, man, is what, it, 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 it's what leading us in a, in a proper way. You know? It says in Jeremiah 44 that the Lord sent forth his prophet, saying, Oh, not this abominable thing that I hate. So, so if the prophets are out there telling you not to do what the Lord hates, they have to know what the Lord, what, what's pleasing unto the Lord, man. Right? Father's seat, 
So it says through what? Through wisdom, now our works are acceptable. Now we know how to please the Lord. Now we know what's uh, acceptable. acceptable. Right. They, they say that uh, it may be worthy to sin. Now, King, King Solomon said that his father seek which is King David. But the line that's today is what? Yahweh Shai is ruling on the throne of David. And who was? The joint heirs, man. So we're able to sit on that throne too, man. That fish should be a fine and show this, you know? Micah uh, chapter 6 and verse uh, 6. It says, wherewithal. Are you going to read that? Okay, let me just get this last verse. All right, Wisdom of Solomon chapter uh, 9 and 18. It says, for the, uh, verse 17. 17, and thy counsel who hath known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above. Right, so you get wisdom and the Holy Spirit are synonymous one with another, man. Right? It's the spirit of truth, it's the understanding of, uh, of the book, right? Go ahead. For so the ways of them which lived on the earth were reborn. Uh -huh. And men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee and were saved through wisdom. That's, it, that's, that's it. right. Hey, that's right. When you go to the next chapter, it says, Wisdom delivered from pain those that attended upon her, man. And I was speaking about a uh, uh, lot uh, uh, who was in the man, man. He was a man that hearkened after wisdom, and therefore what? He was delivered from all that. Why? Because he was a man after wisdom. Yeah, yeah. He was talking about all that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was thinking about what it, what it did for, uh, for Adam, you know? What it did for Noah, what it did for, you know, oh, oh, you know, he was naming different accounts, you know. Right, 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 right. Yep, yep. Let me get this one here, too. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. Ah, renew it in your mind about what? It's truth, it's knowledge, all right? It says, how shy, it's made wisdom unto us, man. It says, he that rule us. 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 Just be just, rule it in the spirit of the Lord. That's right, man. The first word is, you can't remember that. And it says, if you desire seven spirits, uh, desire to seek wisdom. 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 Uh, Micah chapter 6 and verse 6. Wherewith all shall I come before the Lord Yahweh and bow myself before the high power? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves of a year old? For Yahweh by some Yahweh shy, he pleased with thousands of rams or with ten thousands of rivers of oil. Right, and the Lord said, if I was hungry, I would tell you. The Lord, the Lord, don't be the lambs are trying to fight me, man. Alright, that was just us what gave us something up. God's yeah, still looking out for the fruits. Alright, we give enough right. Our goods, like look, take the Lord David's goods. This is your portion. And they went to the priest for the most part, man. Alright, the Lord don't need that though. Different ones, uh, uh, right, you know, right, the ones that uh um, yeah, you know, right, different see, ones the Lord has set up. Free will is what you that's a thankfulness, like yep. uh, the water out became his extra. Now yeah, this this with the brothers, or, you know, with the priest, which is the brother. All right, because we're a nation of Christians. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of a scripture. It's a scripture where the Lord said, uh, I have not uh, I would have need in serving need. in, in, in oh, offerings yeah. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, roughly Psalms, I think it's 91 uh, or 51. No, it's not, it's not, it's not yeah. so. It said you had, I got you. Right? Like basically, I didn't, you know, you wouldn't. God, he said like, you had to serve for your sin. Right. The Lord said, you, I got you. Because right? through idolatry, see how the idolatry you have it, like that's a part of the ceremony. You got to come and give an offering and all that. The Lord was like, I didn't, I didn't tell you that's not how right. you serve. Man. Bro, the Lord said, He said, I, I have no need that you ask him. The, the Heavenly Father knows what you need. He said, He's going to have the ability to fucking ask. Close mouth, don't get fat, man. I, I got that example. It's Isaiah 43 and uh, 22. Isaiah 43 and 22. Thou hast not, I'm going to start 21. These people have my forms myself. They shall show forth my praise. But thou hast not called upon me, O Jacob. Thou hast been weary of me, O Israel. You know, Jacob, 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 I want to say the Lord. They said, Jacob, weary of the Lord, man. All right, they just want to do their own thing. They don't want to wait. All right, they don't want to sacrifice the flesh, man. Let this flesh suffer. They want to continue with sin. Now, because uh, uh, he that's he that sins from sin suffers the flesh, man. Become the prey. I have heard he that suffers. Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. He that suffers the flesh has ceased from sin. The water. Thou hast not brought me the small cattle of thy burnt offerings. Neither has thou honored me with thy sacrifices. 
I have not caused thee to serve with the offering, nor will it be with incense. So the Lord will have a while drawing our ceremony twice a day, had a burnt offering coming to, with the, uh, uh, the incense. All right, doing all this, you got to clean every everything in the temple, you got to clean all this. No, the Lord ain't even having to do that no more, man. Thou hast bought me no sweet cane with money, neither hast thou filled it with the fat of thy sacrifice. But thou hast made me to serve with thy sins, thou hast wearied me with, the, with thy iniquity. So the Lord is like, all you give me is, is fucking sins, man. All Israel is giving the Lord is wickedness, man. All right? This is really going to his mercy because he makes my is, I even, I am, I am he that blotted out thy transgressions for my own sake and will not remember thy sins. Put me in remembrance, let us plead together, declare thou that thou mayest be justified. So the Lord, hey, uh, uh, he's forgiven us because he wants to. Point blank, period, man. He says uh, it's better it's better to obey than to give sacrifice, man. If the Lord has such a delight in, in taking sacrifice and, and, and bringing the animals in fact, why wouldn't he have us do that in the kingdom? Why is he going to put the laws in our inward parts? Because that's what the Lord wants, man. The Lord wants us to walk after his ways. The Lord don't care about you sacrificing the animals or rams or, you know, like the scripture's saying. The Lord wants an obedient son, man. It says, uh, Micah chapter 6 and verse 7. Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has showed thee, O oh man, what is good. Right, so hey, this, this is a part of what's pleasing unto the Lord. So he's explaining what? Shall I, shall I offer the Lord a thousand uh, things of all? Shall I bring a thousand rams? Shall I offer my son? Like the Lord didn't ask for none of those things, right? What did the Lord tell us? Go ahead. It's another one. I think it's Deuteronomy 10 or 12 or 12 and 10. It says, he has showed the old man what is good. And what does the Lord, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, require? See, this is what the Lord required of us, man. Right? Go ahead. But do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. The Lord's voice crieth unto the city and the man of wisdom shall see thy name. So there you go, doing this work, man. That's true, the truth, the justice uh, in the gates, man. That's the Lord required of us, man, to be humble, to show mercy. What's up, guys? It's what the Lord required of us, man. Go out there and teach all people, man. I go to, go to, uh, back to the church house, go to the law school, teach them this way, man. Tell them to repent. A lot of people have a harsh tongue that they will not know thee, but people in that same language. That's right. This shit clicks when it's supposed to click. This is the perfect dial. It's like when you're trying to crack a lock, you got to hear from the clicks and the numbers. And the lack of your hear, the Lord said, my sheep shall hear my, my voice. Yep, I was thinking about hey, it's one of the same John 17. I haven't lost none. The dog that thou gavest me. And they shall know that thou sent me because thou hast given them to me. None of them are lost. That all should come to repentance. He says that all should come to repentance. He's talking about his little one. He said, it might be a part. Talking about his little ones, all of them coming to repentance. He's not talking about everybody. Right. Uh, all Israel, not the leaders. He's going to suffer to us. 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 He's to your fellow man as an Israelite, not these other nations. Fuck these other nations. Yep, I'm gonna finish this off real quick. It says, Hear ye the rod and who hath appointed it. No, oh, and, and, and right, because the scripture says what? How how should they know except a, a, a preacher be sent? You know, roughly paraphrasing. Yeah, it says uh, uh with that hear ye the rod and who hath appointed it, it's talking about how
Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Oh, what are with you? Yeah, and it says, I ride and I stand. They comfort me. That's right. It says, this is my comfort and my affliction, man. It says that word, man, you know? In the book of uh, St. John, it talks about that this is the comforter, man. So this is the rod, this is the staff, this is our comforter, this is our everything. It's our bread, all right? It's our milk, it's our water. This is, this is literally the Lord used so many analogies to tell us that this is your everything. That's, that's pretty much, it's everything that you need, man. It's your comforter, it's gonna correct you, all right? It's everything. Clothes, cover your nakedness. Yep. Right, yeah, clothing, yep. you know? Hey, it's the one that says, why was made to make men marry? I was literally thinking that in my head, I wasn't going to say it, but the spirit wanted Hey, that's the spirit, man. You know, hey, because you know you want some more wine, sit back, relax. Hey, it's the same thing with the scriptures, man. It's, 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 it's the wall, it's the bread. Hey, it's it's all the things that's uh, needed in the man's life. Yep, it's, 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 it's a It's a, you know, I was just going to speak, it's the scripture in Psalms where it says that, uh, unto all good works. That's right, man. That's right, man. Hey, so that lets you know that that rod that is speaking about in that mic that the brother read, it's talking about these scriptures that correct us, man. It's another scripture in the book of Ecclesiastes. I think it's a 12 chapter that talks about how the words of the lies are jokes, right? You know, this is a book. This is a book after John John. So what is that? It's used to, uh, to quick, to correct, man. You know, so that's these scriptures, man. So this is giving us the instruction in righteousness, man, and those things that are pleasing unto Yah, Bashem, Yah, Bashem, and 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 but I'll go back to that wisdom of Solomon because it's all through the spirit because it, it goes back to it starting off with faith, man. But this is wisdom of Solomon chapter 4 verse 10. It said, he pleased the Most High and was beloved of him so that living among sinners, he was translated. Right? So it said, he pleased the Most High. But what? When we read in Hebrew, it talked about what? His faith. It says that Enoch had faith. And then it said that Enoch pleased the Lord right here because it's telling you that faith is
and the conversion of the people. See, and this is how, look, the fire soul pleased the Lord, man. Yeah. Just like Enoch, man. So it said what? He behaved himself wisely in the conversion of the people. The same thing we're doing right now. Yeah, that's right, man. So this is what? The conversion of our people right now, man. That was what pleased the Lord. I don't believe that far I spoke to him. So Enoch had the faith, but he also had what? Those works. Enoch had a testimony. That's what pleased the Lord. Man. And it goes back to that Sirach. I think the brother was holding. I don't know if he was holding that one, but it says that he was an example of repentance. Yeah. You know? It says um, he behaved himself uprightly in the conversion of the people that took away the abominations of iniquity. It says, verse 3, he directed his heart unto the Lord. And in the directed time of the heart, God, directed his mind, right? He, he gave himself wholly to the Lord, man. Everything his his on his uh uh his mind was centered around Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. That's how we have to be. Everything is all about the Lord. He's the center of our attention, man. Alright? Everything works around that. Okay? It says. He directed his heart unto the Lord, and in the time of the ungodly, he established the worship of the Most High. That's now, in the time of ungodly, look, look, this is the, this is the biggest, the, 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 the uh, it, uh, this, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to this. This is, this is, I don't even know what to say it, though. This is the time of the ungodly, man, now more than ever, okay? It's the most ungodly time ever, the most ungodly time ever, man. Uh, it's the worst of the scenario because guess what? Because they they repeated what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah, this place has to be reduced to ashes. For that same example, it says what these places were made an example. Yeah, that the holder. And, and walk around and think that they're really a girl. And and you have check to call them a girl. No, it can actually sue you if you prefer not to like them because of that. Yeah. Well, now they you can't can, even you, call you can say they're discriminated, right? right. But, hey, see, but that's how you know uh, 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 all this is bullshit, man. Because here it is, these goddamn uh, politicians, right? They can sit in the goddamn uh, uh, what they call it, the fucking Capitol building, and they can debate on whether they get the uh, relief. Right? Unto uh, these people, man, for fucking three months, six months, whatever. But then when it comes down to a goddamn CO being passed for these goddamn transformers, they can do that immediately, man. One day. They can they can agree and vote on that. Oh no, that's done. Next week. But here it is when things when it comes to the economy and you know certain shit, they they debating back and forth forever, man. You know it says they gave their power to one man. That's like you know it's all bullshit, man. You know? It's all bullshit, you know. Go ahead. Don't keep the law. Don't keep the law. Bad shit happens. Death comes. All right. 
It says the wages of sin is death. Sin is the transgression of law. If you're not keeping the words of this book, that brings in death, man. That's why there's nothing. That's why this is the valley of the shadow that's, of death. That's, that's, that's why this kingdom is going down, man. They pass some more training laws. Look, they pass some more training laws. Look, they pass some more training laws. Yes, and that's a prophecy, man. Yeah. The prophecy speaking, man. It's yeah. casting out hella fish. Because when you look at the LGBTQ, it's no point. It's the LGBTQ, the number two, A, A, it's a low letter. Bro. It's a lot of shit. I just looked it up the other day. What the fuck? The groups in there, too? What? Just call them. I just call them all bitches. <laughs> you shameless, you. Just be shameless. Hey, but and see, and the, and the thing is, what our righteous forefathers did in their time, we're doing it in this time. Man. It says that Josiah established the worship of the Most High in the time of the ungodly. Well, this is what we doing. That's what Enoch did, living among sinners, right? That's what Noah did, right? So that's what I meant. Back it up. What's the song? What's the chapter four, fourteen? It says, for his soul pleased the Lord, therefore hasted he to take him away from among the wicked. So that's what the Lord is going to do, man. He's going to take away, yeah, exactly, he's going to uh, uh, take away those that are standing up, that believe, that's the gift of the place, all right? And so we are, he's going to take them away, the wicked down here, and suffer that punishment, man. Right? The people who say that God feeds the next day, have a topic daily about the shit that's going on in America, man. To, to, to be fucking righteous, be vexed, man, with the shit that's going on, bro. Because if not, you're a partaker of this bullshit, yes. man. If you ain't speaking against it, you're for it, man. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. It's Sirach chapter 43 in verse 16. Enoch pleased the Lord and was translated being an example of repentance to all generations. Well, that's good, man. It says it's an example of repentance, right? So look at all these different things that we're reading about Enoch, which is symbolic for the totality of the elect. I said that when his, his soul pleased the Lord, going back to this Hebrew, is how he had faith. So therefore, he did those things that was pleasing unto the Lord, man. He was an example of repentance. So what? He turned from wickedness. These are all the traits of the elect. That's going to get them delivered, man. Because his name, his name is heavy, man. Uh, Enoch in the Hebrew is Kanak, right? And it means dedicated or initiated or burned one, man. Now, it's a scripture in Psalms where it speaks about um, uh, the dedication of the temple. It's the, uh, it's the top, it's the top, what they call that? The you know what I'm saying? And it speaks about uh, uh, the dedication of Jerusalem. I don't think it said the temple. I think it said the dedication of Jerusalem. But anyway, it's a song. And when you go into that word dedicate, it's the Hebrew word, it, or word Kanak, which is Enoch, man. You know, so like the feast of dedication, right? Where the where the uh, the temple was cleansed, you know. It's been initiated, right? It's being taught the proper way to serve the Lord, man. So that's heavy in the spirit when he got there that day, you know. This is uh, back in the Lord, man, having that that's created with the faithful in the womb. The brother had quoted that, right? Well, 
7 and verse 18, and I'm going to read down. <laughs> Who is a power like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever because he delighted in mercy. He will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquities and thou will cast all their sins in the depths of the sea. Thou will perform the truth to Jacob and the mercy to Abraham, which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the days of old, man. You got to believe that. You got to believe that you're a descendant of the men that were faithful, that were found worthy to receive the things to come. And your patience possessing your souls, but also what does it say? They, they pray and watch. To escape the things to come and be at be at foot when the Son of Man cometh. You gotta believe. You gotta believe that part because hell, hell is coming. Right, it's Jacob's the, soul is coming. Yeah, man. That's right. It's the Lord's hand short. He cannot say. Right. No, man. The Lord, hey, he's right to say. Can you really me? Right. You can't worry the Lord. Just they just be humble and pray and ask for forgiveness, man. You can't worry the Lord. He made the mouth. He made the eyes. You think you can worry him? Just do it, man. Just do it. He said, hey, it's the angel that witnessed. So you're a guy, you're an angel. Got you, huh? What else you want? Can't go far enough. Shit. We're going to run quick. Uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. It says, And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy power require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways. So with that fear of being obedient, with that fear of walking in his way. And to love him and to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So he requires us to serve him. All right? You niggas talking about y'all Israelite. Well, there's requirements for being an Israelite, man. Not right. just putting it in your bio. No, you have to come out here and present your body as a living sacrifice, man. All right? 
You gotta serve the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your spirit, man. It's not just some fucking fat. It's not no fat, it's man. It's not heritage, service. man. Yeah, it's not lip service, man. What they mouth, they show much love. But their heart is uh, uh, far from the Lord. And it goes under their own covetousness, man. Right, this, their own covetousness. Which is right? idolatry. Exactly. Uh -huh. Putting your own self, your own will over the Lord, man. Your own desires over the Lord, man. You set your, your own, you set yourself up as a God over the Lord, man. All right. Want, wanting to do your own desire, doing what you what you want to do, but at the same time, you're an Israelite, man. There's requirements coming into this truth. One of the requirements as being proud. This is our heritage, man. This is our heritage. Yeah. He said our heritage is what is to uh 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 pretty much to stand on the tongue that rises against us, man. This is the heritage of the servant to the Lord. That's the book of uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter So this is this is the purpose of life Alright This King Solomon the wisest uh, uh, king Right He's giving you the purpose uh, 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 of your life You so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans The reason why you are here Is to do what? Go ahead Fear Yahweh our power Is to fear the Most High Yahweh In the name of only begotten Son Yahweh Our God, our Creator, our Father And keep His commandments for this is the whole duty of man. This is that's why we're here. That's the whole duty of man is to be obedient to our power, man. All right? And if you're not following after this purpose, right, then what? You was born in vain. The purpose of an Israelite is to what? It's to fear the most high and keep his commandments. That's the whole duty of man. If you're not doing that, you are born in vain. Therefore, you're going to perish with the multitudes. As it says in the book of 2nd Ezra, you're going to perish, perish with these uncircumcised people. Man. All right? You got it. Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith. By his works. works and by faith. You can't have one without the other. Show me your faith by your works, man. The two go hand in hand. And that's how uh, uh, the elect is going to be delivered. By their faith and by their works, whereby they have believed. Okay? Okay? Whereby you have believed. They shall be preserved from the set peril, shall see my salvation in my land. You know, so hey, you know, pretty much, um, huh? you know, the men of the Lord, you know, that when this book of Enoch, all right, uh, uh, you know, all the prophets pretty much, you know, they had works, so that's how they were saved, and they had our faith, but faith was backed up by the works, you know. So. This is James 2 and 17. Even so, faith. If it has not worked, it's dead being alone. Yeah, a man may say, they have faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Yeah, because it's an action work. You can't just say, I believe and I believe. You're not doing anything to show your belief, man. You know? You're just, uh, what did it say? Uh, like, the brother just quoted it, man. In Isaiah 29, chapter, 13 verse. Uh, you know? It says uh, that the uh, heart, uh, the Confession is made unto salvation, you know. 
it's about to renew in my mind. Like we were talking about being one to the heart of the house. So if your heart is set on your hollow by struggle out with God, you're going to speak those things and you're going to perform those things in your everyday life, man. You know? So it all coincides together. So Lord willing, that we know this is out of mind. The water of your hollow by struggle out with God. I'm going to come out here continuously. So, uh, push forth this word, man. We're going to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shad, Bashem, Rukakadash. Double honor for our apostles and elders, great those stone ones, blessings and salutations to the Lord, and the gospel, 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 and the gospel,